Good morning, everybody. Um, it's like 10 after 8 um, on Thursday morning. And um, <laughs> I'm sort of awake. I actually stayed up. Um, I got back late from a thing yesterday. Um, family thing. And was in the car for uh, possibly way too long. Um... And when I got back, it was like late enough that I thought, you know, maybe I'll just stay up for the release of Hyperlight Drifter. And I did. And the release didn't happen. So they had some issues with Humble, I guess, uh, and key generation or something like that. And keys <clears throat> weren't going out on time. So basically, the game, I, don't, I think it might have been around 2 o'clock that it maybe finally went live. Um, I went to bed about 1.30. I just couldn't hack it anymore. I was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> if it had been midnight, I would have streamed for a couple hours. But anyway, <clears throat> but here we are on uh, several, uh, a number of hours later. I got a good, decent sleep, feel pretty good, and lo and behold, Hyperlight Drifter is ready. So here we are with some Hyperlight Drifter. I literally have just loaded this for the first time, just booted up to the menu, so we're going to have to maybe take a half a second to sort of see what's going on here, but I'm really excited for this game. I was a backer of the Kickstarter because I thought the art style was fantastic and I liked what they had to say about the gameplay, and so far, things seem to have been pretty positive. Um, let's see, we'll go windowed here. And we will use our borderless gaming app, which if you have not used it, is like the most awesome thing in the world. Um, at least it is when it works, which it is not working right now. Holy crap. That's not good. All right, well, we're going to have to go back to full screen. I, guess. Uh, I don't know, honestly, who makes this borderless gaming app, but uh, it's real good. It's real good. Uh, but yeah, that's unfortunately not working. It works with most games, but every now and again you run into issues, so Wasn't working too well here So we'll be using full screen. That's okay. Not the end of the world uh, Okay Check our controls. Let's see we've got uh, aim shoot heal special uh, Move with the left stick and that's our inventory. Interact sword, dash, and swap weapons. And there's a button for sitting. All right, very good. Uh, well, let's dive right in. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have not played this game. I have not seen a preview build. I have not watched anybody play it. I have seen absolutely no footage other than what's been released by the team themselves, which has primarily been, um, gifts, really, <laughs> for the most part, stuff that I've seen them, um, release in their backer updates and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let's see how this goes.
Wow. Well, that was slightly more impressive than I was expecting. That was a hell of an intro. Um, let's see, we're going to bump the volume down a little bit. Alright. Um, yeah, wow. That's something. I mean, this game is gorgeous, which I knew from the start, but that was a hell of an intro. This game is um, generally, I think, known for not being hand-holdy, not uh, being too explicit about anything. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is kind of a action RPG in the style of classic action RPGs. Uh, Zelda, maybe a little Secret of Mana, things like that. Uh, it seems to be pretty fast-paced from what I gather. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, so I do plan to savor it. Can we walk off the edge? No. Alright, no walking to our deaths, apparently. Ooh, hello. So I can use the dash mechanic to dash over stuff. I guess that little counter in the corner is telling me how many healing items I have. Uh, apparently this guy's not friendly. entirely know what the story of this game is, um, other than what little they've released. Apparently I got a gun. Controls feel nice. Very responsive. I love the art style of this game. And I guess just the the themes. You know, the sort of technological civilization that's ruined and everything. It's really good stuff. somebody moving around out there somewhere. Okay, we're not doing that. I guess we can fall down here, maybe? Yep. Nothing else through here. It's really hard to believe this is someone's first game. I gotta say.
Hello, birdies. The atmosphere in this game is heady. Tempting to just slow, slow way down and just sort of take it all in. Wow. Very nice use of sound. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Really neat way to tell a story. This kind of wordless, just, you know, graphical storytelling. Uh, they're doing a surprisingly good job. This is very compelling so far. Nice, I'm here. <laughs> That's cool. What was that? I turn out the lights? I guess I turned out the lights. Ah, a map. Oh, cool. That's a really nice looking map. Oh, that's a really nice looking map. That's good. I have no idea how long this game is purported to be. Um, how much content there is. It's currently 20 bucks on sale, you know, release sale. I think it's like $17.99 or something like that. Um, this is a very link to the past kind of map, but uh, in a very good way. I don't know. B cancels A accept. Doesn't appear that I can do anything here. I can sit down. Perhaps we'll figure that out later. Sort of checkpoint or something? More purity time using the map, okay. Yeah, man, look at this art. It's so good. These like decaying buildings and it's all sort of recognizable. This kind of looks like a neighborhood, you know, you got like a street light maybe. Uh, what looks sort of like a maybe like a telephone pole. Off to the left. 
A really great use of sound, more so than I was expecting. <clears throat> That's a puppy. You're not a mean puppy, right? You look friendly. He does look friendly. Sort of. Who's that fella? Uh, as I understand it, there's no, no real, I mean, there's English language, obviously, for, like, some of the tutorial stuff, but the characters speak their own language. Take a look at our map here. So this sort of, I guess, area may act as kind of a home base, hub, sort of. I'm almost kind of getting... Ouch. I didn't even see that dude. Um, kind of getting like a... Almost like a sci-fi Dark Souls kind of vibe, actually. Kind of thought those might explode. Um, and that may not be an over, overall fair comparison, but just in terms of sort of this peaceful, kind of monolithic, beautiful, ruined civilization. Like, that kind of feels very similar in that, in that vein. That's yeah, cool down there, all these like bone piles and this sort of red miasma. <clears throat> okay, I had to test. Apparently you can slide yourself off into the abyss and doesn't kill you. Takes off some health. Man, this is gorgeous. Really, these people seriously knew what they were doing when it came to the art style here. Guessing you're going to attack me? No. Birds so far have been friendly ish. Great character designs, too. Is he telling us about something? Telling us about a boss, perhaps? I guess so. Warning us about a boss. Um, like I say, I don't know much about the overall plot for this game, but I gather that you are not the only drifter in the world, and the drifters are... That can't possibly be an enemy, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, and the drifters are like collectors of lost knowledge? And your particular drifter is apparently sick. Uh, you know, hence his coughing and and everything. Whoa, hello. I didn't see them sneak up on me from the side. charge your ammo by attacking with the sword. Mm. 
no idea what that is. Maybe collect four of something and something happens, perhaps? Another health down here. This kind of looks like a graveyard. <laughs> Maybe it's a futuristic electronic graveyard. Can I do something with this? Nope. Something up there. I don't think we can... Nope. Didn't think so. Was that a just a health increase, I guess? Or a health uh, health item recharge? I see something over there. But no obvious way to get to it. it doesn't appear that we can go through any of those trees. like this map. It's really nicely done. Uh, let's see. Don't see anything to interact with. Those don't appear to be anything. Maybe this is an area we have to come back to. The world does appear to be rather open. So... Is that something I can... Yeah, it is. Um... Do you have anything new to say? Nope. Just telling us about... I guess a boss. That's kind of what it looks like. Um... I guess we might be able to go down here. Oops, sorry bird. Aha. I like the little robot buddy that you have that follows you around. He's cute. Okay. Is that the symbol that was on that other display? Possibly, not sure. Okay, looks like we lit up a dot in the center. Maybe finding these things is, uh contributing towards some eventual goal. Something that'll unlock there, maybe? I don't know. Am I missing anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can destroy bones. Good to know. Well, let's head back and see what, if anything, happened in the center, and uh, I'm assuming there's probably going to be another direction we could go. Uh, enemies don't respond, that's interesting, I sort of assumed they would. Hmm. 
break those bones too. And these. That guy's new. I don't remember seeing him before. You guys have anything new to say yet? Oops. Can't use your weapons here. If you push it, he just sort of nods his head. Okay, this does appear to be like a full, full on town, doesn't it? People that talk to you, and I guess shops? Yeah, totally. This totally looks like a shop. Um, okay. I guess this is an upgrade for the amount of ammo your gun has. And I have no idea how you buy it. I don't think I have the currency, probably. So I'm lacking whatever currency I need to buy that. Really nicely done with the whole sort of... No language concept. Like, even on those menus, like, it's pretty easy to figure out what it's trying to convey to you. I guess those guys are like the town guards. Another shop here. This cool looking like duck dude. <laughs> the character designs in this are fantastic. Alright, so it looks like I can spend more of that currency to get a grenade of sorts. And here is a drunk. Who has something to say? And he just turned into a bird? I wasn't sure if that was a, uh, a real thing or not, but um, the, uh, the lead developer on this game tweeted something about that there's a drunk that turns into a bird, and that was the first known bug. Apparently this is it. And he's telling us a story, I guess, about himself. Apparently he got the crap beat out of him. Well, that's sad. Poor bastard. I see a key symbol. I guess there'll be a way to get through there eventually. Can I interact with this? It doesn't do anything. I'm again really impressed with the sound design in this. Just like the sounds of town here and kind of the atmosphere of everything is really impressive. It's like a praying robot. And a dog person planting flowers. His character designs are fantastic. They're so good. I guess this is like the, yeah, medicine shop. Oh, that's a cool looking store. And there's an upgrade here. Um, maybe for an extra... Uh, an extra... storage. Um, an extra use of the healing item, I guess, is what that is. That's a really cool shop. I love that. Just the look of it is great. I wasn't expecting this many, like, friendly people, I guess. I was expecting the world to be 
emptier, I suppose. Um, just because they didn't show off a lot of stuff like that in pre-release. At least that I'm aware. Made it all kind of seem more lonely. something down there. Question is, can we get to it? Probably we can walk behind here. Yeah. In the beginning that was useless. It didn't give us anything because we were already at full. I don't... Whoops. <laughs> we're already at full. Okay. We now have two of whatever those are. Good to know. So you can fall off if you just hold it at the edge of something. Oops. Was I really supposed to be over here? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you just have to be a little tricky about that. That's fair enough. Yeah, if you hold at the edge, eventually you will just walk off but it doesn't let you do it immediately, which is nice. Keep you from doing it accidentally too much. Unless you're being fairly deliberate. So I don't want to shoot that. I kind of keep expecting the aim control to be mapped to the other stick. That's throwing me a little bit. Every time I press aim, I want to use the other stick, not the movement stick, but you have to be stationary when shooting, apparently. Oops. Wow, that's cool. I am much more impressed with seeing this game in action than I ever was in any, like, preview footage and such. The overall effect of being in this world is much greater than just watching it, you know? So I'm guessing I need to shoot that. Before I can get over here. Know where to go. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. Sorry if I'm gushing a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of surprised, I guess. You know, I'd seen enough of this stuff prior to the, the game coming out that I wouldn't have expected to be quite so... Um, initially impressed, I guess. It's like, you know, I feel like I've seen a lot of this before, and yet the effect of being in the world is very... Um, very heady, just more so than, you know, looking at stuff, sort of the sound and atmosphere and everything. Uh, Disaster Piece did the music, of course, and he's fantastic. I've been thoroughly impressed with a lot of his work in the past, and it's no less awesome here. Hello, friend. He's telling me about another boss, I'm guessing? Indeed he is. We have a large cybernetic frog thing over there, I guess. It's kind of what it looks like. I don't know, maybe just horribly mutated giant frog? This does remind one of Fez a little bit. Whoa, frog ninjas! Oh, snap. Um, the general consensus seems to be that this game is fairly difficult. Um, wow, these guys are not pleasant. Jeez. These guys are like doing some murdering over here. For real. Um... 
somebody, I honestly don't remember who, from Rock Paper Shotgun was apparently just recently complained that they could not beat the first boss. Uh, that they were loving the game, they were enjoying the hell out of it, they were really taken with it, and then the first boss was just too hard. And they couldn't do it. Um, which is always an interesting argument when you come to, you know, game difficulty. How hard is too hard? Do you design an experience? I'm gonna leave that. Since I don't need another health item just yet. Uh, do you design an experience really deliberately like that? You know, in the, the sense of this is the experience we want people to have, but then potentially alienating people? What's that? Oh, elevator. Um, that's always kind of a risk uh, of alienating people that way. And I mean, I guess that's why there's difficulty options available in a lot of games to try and avoid alienating people. Wow, this is, I saw a screenshot of this area, but this is cool. It's like a tank full of water back there with a guy floating in it. Um, and his complaint was, you know, you're alienating me. I want a game that's, that I can play. This is too hard for me, you know, whether I suck or not. You know, that's not the point. The point is that I can't play your game, which I was thoroughly enjoying up until that point. Maybe something's gonna happen here. Um, and, it, and it was interesting because he says that all people who say, well, you just suck, you know, you're too bad at this game, that's selfish of those people to say that. But at the same time, isn't it selfish to want the game to be easier for you as well so that you can experience it? I mean, both are inherently selfish. Kind of. Um, you know, in his case, I think you'd probably want like a difficulty level, so people who want it really hard can have that, and, and people who can't hack it, you know, will have something easier. Can I shoot these? Yep. Don't know what they do, but... Um, so, and I, I do understand that argument. I mean, I think there is something to be said for that. But I also think there's something to be said for a game that sets a very deliberate thing. You know, um, like Dark Souls, there's no difficulty options there. Either you hack it or you don't. And that will inherently be alienating for some people. Hello, frog guys. But, you know, what can you do? If that's the design choice that you make, then... Then it is. Um... So it is always kind of an interesting argument. Huh. That's a giant arm. Part of one. Holding what appears to be a giant sword. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, we've got another one of these things. It'll be interesting to see what, what happens when we get four of them. Maybe an upgrade? Extra health? Something? Um, and I saw someone else tweet, actually, that the first boss was, like, totally destroying them. Just kicking their ass, you know, sideways. Um, that really is an awesome map. Like, it's a nice representation of the... of the world. Um, so, you know, apparently there's more than one person having trouble with that first boss and uh, it being the first boss I suppose might be somewhat surprising for some people can't go down there yet uh, well let's head up this way hello this person looks like they're trying to sleep These guys look like maybe they're having a rough time of things with those frog dudes. Yeah. Jeez. These poor bastards. Those frog guys are mean as shit, dude. Oh, I see. He's trying to break himself out. He's chained up. And we'll have to do something about that, won't we? If at all possible.
Perhaps we can kill the frog god and liberate our little... I don't know what they are, but... Little sort of dog-like buddies. I guess this must have been their place, too. You can see these statues look like them. So I guess maybe this was their territory. They built this, perhaps. And the frogs at some point invaded, took over. So yeah, I guess this is funneling us kind of toward the boss. Um, to some degree. We'll keep exploring everything else until we run out of other options. See if perhaps there are upgrades to be gotten that might make that fight a little easier, since apparently it's going to be fairly hard. Apparently. 